In this video, I will show you the systematic steps that you need to walk through in order to show your students how to build a topic sentence or thesis statement. Let me point out, first of all, that this is for informative explanatory writing in which you are writing that big idea about information. And that big idea is called a topic sentence or a thesis statement. A topic sentence is for a paragraph, while a thesis statement is the big idea for an essay. This page displays a sentence builder. I encourage you to take notes as you watch me walk through the steps forming a topic sentence or thesis statement about butterflies. When you're taking these notes, you will be able to systematically write down the five steps that I walk through in order to form one of these sentences. When you finish recording these steps, you will have a topic sentence and in this particular video about a butterfly. What I'd like for you to do is turn to the next two pages. What you will see is another lesson. This is displayed through pictures and listed steps as another resource for you to follow when you're teaching your students how to write a topic sentence or thesis statement. What you will notice is this particular sentence that we built using the sentence builder was about the Revolutionary War. That means that these steps can be used to form big ideas, topic sentences, or thesis statements about your science, your social studies, any information. Hence, the sentence builder can be used not only to show how to write sentences for narrative writing, but also for sentences in informative explanatory writing. Please watch the following lesson in which I use these five systematic steps to build a topic sentence, and in this case, about a butterfly. In this video, we're going to learn how to write a topic sentence or thesis statement. We're going to use the sentence builder in order to show kids how to write those types of sentences. Too many times children become confused and don't know what to put in these sentences or how to write them. For example, we're going to write a topic sentence or thesis statement about a butterfly and its life cycle. Too many children will write, butterflies are awesome. I really like butterflies. Or sometimes they'll write, I'm going to tell you about a butterfly and its life cycle. We really don't want students to do that. That's not powerful enough. So I'm going to show you using the sentence builder the steps that you can teach children to write a powerful topic sentence or thesis statement. Let's get started. Step one, secret formula time. We're going to have a secret formula that students can learn in order to write a topic sentence or thesis statement. That secret formula is S, S, notice green and red, light bulb. S, S, light bulb is our secret formula for a topic sentence or thesis statement. Let's go through and figure out what each part of the secret formula stands for. The first S is green, and that's for setting. Setting tells us when, we always point to our wrist like we're looking at a watch, or where. What does setting tell us? When or where. The second S is subject. I pretend like we're opening up a book where there's information, and we go like this. We go, subject, who or what is the information about? So, so far we have the first S is setting, tells us when and where, or time and place. Subject is who or what is the information about? The light bulb has two parts. It's what's the big idea and why is it so important? We have setting, subject, big idea. Setting tells us when and where or time and place. The second S is subject, who or what is the information about? And the light bulb is what's the big idea and why is it so important? Now we're ready for step two. Step two, parts of speech card. We're now going to break our secret formula up into smaller parts. This way, when students are planning their sentence, it's much easier to brainstorm all the different parts of the sentence. That's why we're using the parts of speech card. So setting tells us, what does it tell us? When and where. So we're going to add our when and where card. Subject. Who or what is the information about? 
That's a noun, so we'll add our noun card here. We probably want to add an adjective and describe our noun, so we'll put our adjective card there just in case. And then we have two parts to our big idea. We have what's the information about and why is it so important. So we're going to have a verb to kick off the big idea, what it's about, and then we're going to add our why phrase to explain why this is so important. Because who cares what you're writing about unless you explain to the reader why it's important to know. We're ready for step three. Step three is to plan the sentence. What information needs to be put into the sentence? Isn't it great that we have the parts of speech card? Because it clearly shows children what they need to brainstorm for. Now, we added our secret formula cards from left to right, SS Lightball. We added our parts of speech card from left to right. But now when we plan our sentence, we don't go from left to right. We're going to go in the following order. In order to plan our sentence, we'll start with our subject and we'll go directly to our noun card and underneath, we're going to draw a simple picture to represent our noun. Who or what is this information about? Well, we've been studying about butterflies in our classroom, so we're going to write about butterflies. Never write about information unless children know that information inside and out. So after a unit or in the middle of a unit, you can write that information. In this case, we've been studying about butterflies, we're ready to write about it. So who or what is our information about? Butterflies. So we'll quickly draw a butterfly. It's not an art project, it's just a fast sketch. The subject of our sentence is butterflies. Let's go over to the next part of our sentence we need to plan, and that's the setting. Do we need to say when and where we're talking about butterflies? Yes, we're talking about when is this happening? It's happening all the time. So let's put a circle with an arrow for it, all the time. And now, where is it happening? Well, butterflies are all over the Earth, so we'll put a planet Earth and put X's all over. So, every day, all over the planet Earth, butterflies, what's the big idea about butterflies? What information are we telling our reader about butterflies? We're going to tell readers how they go through a life cycle. So butterflies change in their life cycle. So maybe what we'll do is we'll go ahead and put some lines here for they change. We have all year long, and notice how I'm using motions. Whenever we keep repeating our sentence, I like to have the kids use physical motions. It helps them interact with the sentence builder chart as well as it ties in those children who need those physical motions, the kinesthetic movements to help them learn. So we have all year long on the planet Earth, butterflies change, who cares? Why is that so important? Well, we learn why a butterfly changes because it proves they're a living thing. Or they change so they can survive, so their species won't become extinct. So we're going to put over here, butterflies change, and now I can draw a picture or a keyword. Maybe what I'll do is I'll just say, I'll write living thing here to remind me that this proves that they're a living thing. Let's go back and practice our sentence. All year long on the planet Earth, butterflies change, which proves they're a living thing. That sounds pretty good. That captures the information we studied about. That's the big idea. We have all our parts for our sentence, so we're ready to, to go on to our next step. Step four, add sticky notes. We're going to add the sticky notes underneath each one of the cards so that we can brainstorm all those different parts of the sentence to make it better. Underneath the when card, all year long. So you're brainstorming with kids, coming up with different ways to say that phrase. We may just put all year long there. How about over many months or throughout the year? Where? Well, it's happening on the planet Earth. That's where the butterflies are. So we could say around the world, on the planet Earth, or across the continents. Underneath the adjectives, let's describe the butterfly. Well, we know butterflies are fragile, they're colorful, Oh, they're even delicate. So these are some descriptors we can use to describe butterflies. We already know this is about butterflies. I don't need to brainstorm or put 
sticky notes underneath our butterfly icon. We'll leave that empty. But now we're going to go over here for our verb and its phrase to say that they change. Butterflies change in their life cycle. Well, that's the big idea. That's the information I'm going to tell you about. Or butterflies transform throughout their lives. That's another way to say the same information. Or butterflies experience physical changes in their lives. These are different ways to say that big idea statement. You can go back and you can underline the verb. Notice I have the verbs in the present tense. That's because when you're writing about information, in this case science about a butterfly, it's always true. So you'll stay in that present tense. Whenever you're writing about science, most of the time you'll be writing in that present tense. For example, if I was writing about the sun, I would say the sun is our closest star because that's always true. I wouldn't say it was our closest star. That's why we're staying here in our present tense. We have our verbs. The last card that we need to brainstorm for is the why phrase. Who cares? Why is this information so important? If I'm writing information, my reader should know why it's important. Otherwise, it's meaningless. So we need to add that why phrase. Here we wanted them to know that butterflies change in their life cycle because they're living things. Well, how could I write that? Well, they change in their life cycle. That proves they are living things. They change in their life cycle. That proves they are alive. Or they change in their life cycles to keep their species from extinction. Move the sticky notes. We're going to go from left to right moving the sticky notes. Again, let's review. We went from left to right for our secret formula. Left to right with the cards. We went from our noun to our when where cards, our verb, and our why card when we planned out our sentence. From left to right, we're going to move those sticky notes. How's this sound? All year long? across the continents, delicate butterflies change in their life cycles that proves they are living things. That's a great topic sentence. Now let's change the sticky notes again and let's see if we can come up with a different way to say the same idea. How does throughout the year, around the world, Fragile butterflies transform throughout their lives to keep their species from extinction. Great topic sentence. Isn't it wonderful that children now can see how the parts of speech, how they break down a sentence to help them create better sentences. It's a way to show them how to brainstorm all these different parts. The parts of speech is no longer an isolated grammar activity. We're integrating it into our sentence builder to show how they use that to write a powerful topic sentence or thesis statement. Good luck and I hope that your children are able to use the secret formula and the sentence builder to write powerful topic sentences or thesis statements.